been a while since we worked anything like that. Place the knife just like that. Now we just trace the shape onto it. Like so. Now we'll color in everything that we need to have cut off. The method we use for making these knives is called stock removal. Stock removal has a number of benefits. Namely, and the most effective for you guys, is that it makes it quick to produce knives and keeps their quality consistent. So as a result, we can sell you, the customer, a, a quality knife at a much lower price than if we were doing the hammer and anvil method. It also means that, because we're ordering in our billets from our suppliers, that we know exactly what kind of metal we have here, we know how to treat it, we know what it likes, and it keeps the quality consistent all through the board. All right, so here we've got Tonto cut out pre-beautification which I'm going to be getting started on shortly, hence the mask. And aggressor, pre-beautification. Now the beautification process comes in a couple parts. We'll be using our grinder here and less in the view, we'll be using the sander. From those, we're going to round and clean up all of the sharp edges, the roughness in general, and, well, as the name suggests, make them pretty before they're going to be going in for their heat treatment process. beautification process is completed. Now as you saw in the previous part of this video that features a couple things but namely grinding, sanding, bevels, jimping. I'll go over and show you this knife that we completed. Now Hercules takes care of our grinding as I showed and then the little boy here using a 120 grit bell is what takes care of our rounding and Grizzly takes care of all of our bevels. So, aggressor here. The rounding on this, all done with that belt, little boy. Similarly, the rounding here, Hercules. And here's our bevels. Now, I didn't get any footage of the sanding for the bevels or the rounding, mostly because there's not enough space and the bevels were done while I wasn't home to be able to take the recording. But it wouldn't have mattered anyways because, as you can see, I really don't have a lot of space to set up a camera. So, jimping was done while I was doing the rounding, too, so is what it is. Here's the Tonto, Mark II. Again, Similar treatment. But let me show you some of the stuff that I didn't show you last time. Now, two of these are going to sound very familiar to all the people who wonderfully came and saw us at the shows that we did this year. Fort Town Fair, namely, which I highly recommend anyone come visit us at. We're at every year. Happens in late September. So. Here is a take on our Huntsman. A large, meaty knife. 
and our big boy Tonto. Again, hefty boys. And another one, this one was bottled after one of our more exclusive ones that we made for this year. The Lacerators. I'll be going into a little more detail in a later video as to the types of styles of knives such as Tonto, Clip, Drop Point, but for now, this video is just the part one of how we make our knives. The next step is going to be going into the forge. Now you've probably noticed that some of these knives still have things like the stickers and some paint on it, and that's fine. It's all going to get burned off once we go into the forge. On top of that, the quench is going to create a, a, a coating on it. Um, That'll all be taken care of and processed, but that is a story for part two of this video, which we will be uploading after we have gotten all these boys taken care of and ready for part three, which will be clean up and final finishes. So, see you for part two, forging and heat treatment.